All right, for the final video in the series, let's see how to deploy a view application. For this demo, I will be using GitHub and Netlify. Step one, ensure your code is pushed to GitHub. As you can see, I already have a repo created, which is the same repo I've used for the entire series. View three tutorials. We have a couple of view applications in here, so let's deploy one of them. Step two, head over to netlify.com and sign up if you're new to Netlify. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. In the overview page, I'm going to click on new site from Git. Then select GitHub. If you're doing this for the very first time, you'll need to authorize Netlify for GitHub. Next, it's going to ask you to select the repo where you have the source code. My code is in the view three tutorials repo, which I'm going to select. Again, if you're new to this, it'll prompt you to select a repo before proceeding. So view three tutorials and here we need to enter the build command and the publish directory. The build command is yarn build which is present in the package.json file. And the publish directory is dist. This is available in the view CLI docs. Next, click on deploy site. Now, if your GitHub repo has just the one project and it is available at the root level, this will build and deploy your view application. However, we have several projects in the root directory. So we need to pick one and set it as the base directory. For that, click on site settings, select build and deploy in the side nav. Under build settings, click on edit and set the base directory. Let's say we want to deploy the view composition app that we've been working in the past few videos. The base directory, will be view hyphen composition. This corresponds to the view hyphen composition project in our repository. Now, once you've entered the base directory, click on save, scroll to the top and click on deploys and then trigger deploy. This will take a minute to build and deploy your application. Once the process completes, we should have a preview button at the top. Click on the button and we have our application hosted on a Netlify URL. If you have a custom domain, you can of course point this app to that domain. But as far as a simple build and deploy with GitHub and Netlify is concerned, this is all you have to do. Well, with that, we come to the end of the series on view three. I hope you now have a much better understanding of the various concepts in Vue. If you guys have enjoyed the series and found it helpful, please do leave a like and share this playlist with your friends or teammates. If you're looking for Vuex and Vue Router tutorials as well, let me know by commenting down below. As always, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, take care.